Hello students, in semester 4th of Zoology of MDS University Ajmer, we are studying Centrifugation in Cell and Molecular Biology paper 19b. So far, we have studied about the principle and working of centrifuge and the types of rotors that are used in centrifugation. Today, we will start by studying about the types of centrifuge. Different types of centrifuge are available. They are generally classified into four groups. These are the small bench centrifuge, the refrigerated centrifuge, the high speed centrifuge and ultra centrifuge. The ultra centrifuge can further be subdivided into the preparative ultra centrifugation and the analytical ultra centrifugation. Let us start with the first type of centrifuge that is the small bench centrifuge. The simplest centrifuge that we know is the small bench centrifuge and this is also known as the lab or laboratory centrifuge. The bench top centrifuge is a very compact centrifuge that is commonly used for clinical and research labs. It is driven by an electric motor where the tubes are rotated around a fixed axis resulting in a force perpendicular to the tubes. They can be operated at ambient temperatures. They work with the speed that ranges from 8000 to 13000 revolutions per minute and the relative centrifugation force is of approximately 10,000 gravitational field. This is used for rapid sedimentation of small volumes in one or two minutes. The example of the small bench centrifuge is they are used for separating erythrocytes coarse precipitates and cells. The blood samples are sedimented in routine using these centrifuges. The second type of centrifuge is the large refrigerated centrifuges. The refrigerated centrifuges have a temperature control unit in addition to the rotors and the racks for the sample tubes. These are provided with temperature control that ranges from minus 20 degrees centigrade to minus 30 degrees centigrade. These centrifuges work at a speed of 6000 rpm and can produce the maximum RCF of up to 6500 g which is ideal for the separation of various biological molecules. The swinging type or the fixed angle rotors can be interchanged in them and these can accommodate 10, 50 or 100 cubic centimeter tubes. These are typically used for collecting substances that separate rapidly like yeast cells, chloroplasts and erythrocytes. The chamber of the refrigerated centrifuge is sealed off from outside to meet the conditions of the operations. Now the high speed refrigerated centrifuges. As the name suggests, these centrifuges can attain a speed of 25,000 rpm and the RCF that is the relative centrifugal force of 6000 g. They have in the high speed centrifuges, there is an interchangeable rotor heads which can be used to accommodate the desired volume of the sample. These are generally used to collect the microorganisms, cell debris, large cellular organelles and precipitates of chemical reactions. They are also useful in isolating the subcellular organelles like the nuclei, mitochondria or the lysosomes. And then the last and the fourth type of centrifuge is the ultra centrifuge. 
The ultra centrifugation is an important advancement which uses both the mechanics and the optics to separate the biological molecules with the help of centrifugal force. The ultra centrifuges operate at a high speed of 6 lakh rpm sorry 60000 rpm to 1 lakh rpm in them the rotor chamber is sealed and evacuated by the pump to attain the vacuum they have the refrigeration system with the temperature of 0 to minus 40 degrees centigrade the rotor chamber in the ultra centrifuge is always enclosed in a heavy armor plate the ultra centrifugation can further be divided into two categories the preparative ultra centrifugation and the analytical ultra centrifugation. The centrifugation for isolation and purification of components is known as preparative centrifugation. Whereas if the centrifugation is carried out with the desire for characterization it is known as analytical centrifugation. The preparative centrifugation is concerned with the actual isolation of biological material for the subsequent biochemical investigations. In these centrifuges, the rotors can spin to a maximum speed of 80,000 rpm and can produce a centrifugal field of up about 6 lakhs gravity. They are equipped with a sentry sorry with a refrigeration unit the temperature is monitored by an infrared sensor the preparative centrifugation is concerned with the actual isolating separating and purifying a variety of biological and cellular or subcellular components it can be divided into two main techniques depending upon the suspension medium in which the separation occurs. The homogeneous, if the medium is homogeneous, it is the differential centrifugation and if the, there is density gradient medium, then the density gradient centrifugation is used. The second type of ultra centrifugation is the analytical centrifugation. In this, the speed is about 70,000 rpm with the RCF of 5 lakh g. In addition to the motor, the rotor contained, is contained in a protective chamber that is refrigerated and evacuated. And the optical system is also provided which allows the sedimenting material to be observed during the duration of centrifugation. The optical system is of three types in the analytical centrifugation. The first is the light absorption system. The second is the scleran system. And the third is the Rayleigh really interferometric system. We will study about the preparative and the analytical centrifugation in the coming lectures.